Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Gids. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. So I'm doing another tag. Um, there's lots of great tags floating around at the moment. This one was um, created by Tara from Old Factor Files and it's called Ghosts of Perfume Past. So we're gonna be talking about past fragrances and I'm gonna be going through each question. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so the first question is, what was the first perfume you ever owned? And I think I've spoken about this in a couple of videos. Um, it's from the House of Hermes and it is Eau de Orange Verte. And this was a fragrance which was gifted to me by my dad and I just kept repurchasing it because I really, really like it. So um, it's this one from Hermes. The next question is, what perfume is most representative of your teens? Um, I couldn't just pick one fragrance. I had two in mind because they genuinely are fragrances from my teens. The first one is Versace Blue Jeans. You guys know about this fragrance. Most people do anyway. It's a classic, isn't it? It's one of these kind of old school cheapy fragrance. Used to wear this a lot to school back in the day. The other fragrance is another classic and it is from Davidoff and it is Cool Water. I still have bottles of both, but I don't really wear them anymore. The next question is, what perfume is most representative of your 20s? And I went with this one. I think I've spoken about this fragrance as well from the house of Moschino, it is Umo. Um, great fragrance. I think I put this in the um, in this category because I wore this a lot, particularly in entering into my 20s. Um, so it reminds me a lot of a lot of experiences and memories in my 20s including when I was at uni, um, when I would go clubbing I would wear this. This is that fragrance so Uma from Moschino definitely. The next question is what perfume from your teens did you dislike? Okay I don't have the, the, the perfume but it was um, from House of Ralph Lauren and it was Polo Green. I remember we used to have it in our cabinet in our bathroom um, when I was younger in our old uh, place and it belonged to my dad and I remember one day I smelt this fragrance and I felt like I was going to throw up. It was so strong and potent and it just smelled really mature. Um, it's kind of that classic old school aftershave um, male fragrance but for me at the time I remember feeling like this is the worst thing I'd ever smelt. So yeah, it was that fragrance. The next question is, what perfume from your 20s did you dislike? Now, I can think of one and it's not because the smell, but it's more the memory association and it's uh, Le Mal from Jean-Paul Gaultier. So I used to work in a job um, that I didn't like and the manager used to always wear this fragrance. And of course, for that reason, I never like the smell of it because I always associated it with this particular manager which I did not like. Um, so even till this day when I smell Le Mal, I think of that manager, I think of that workplace and yeah, not, not very nice memories. <laughs> um, the next question, what perfume from your past do you still wear now? Um, I still wear um, Umo Moschino. I really still feel that this is a great fragrance. Um, I like wearing it sort of this time of year, spring, sort of summertime. It's really great, quite fresh. Um, and I really still love this fragrance. Um, what perfume from your past would you not wear now? Um, I've got it here. Um, unfortunately, it's this one from Paco Rabanne. It's one million. I wouldn't wear this fragrance just because it's, I kind of feel like I've evolved a bit and it doesn't suit my current style of what I like in a fragrance. Um, I know this is much love and it's not a terrible fragrance, it's just I feel like I've outgrown it. Um, it smells for me a little bit too synthetic and the sweetness of it kind of I find really jarring. So it would definitely be Paco Rabanne 1 million that I would not wear. Um, what perfume from your past do you wish you could wear but has been discontinued? I would say Ralph Lauren Romance for Men. That was for me a really great fragrance. Um, I really enjoyed wearing that fragrance a lot in my 20s um, and they discontinued it. 
So I would love to see them bring that fragrance back. What is a good memory associated with a fragrance from your past? And it's probably, again, going back to um, Versace, it's Versace blue jeans. Just because at the time, um, it reminds me of being in school, you know, being quite carefree, um, before life got real. <laughs> um, it just has fun memories. It reminds me of like being in school. Um, you know, I did go to a school which was fun in, in a lot of ways. And it reminds me of school days and stuff, you know, when you were young and you know, all the fun times when life was just quite carefree and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, it just reminds me of my friends from school when I was a lot younger and some of the fun experiences I had because we all used to wear, <laughs> it was either Versace blue jeans, uh, Davidoff cool water or CK1. Um, we, <laughs> you would always smell that in the classroom corridor um, in my school. So yeah, it reminds me of my school days when life, life was more fun and carefree. What can I say? Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry that I haven't been um, as active and consistent with uploading. I've just, I've basically been back at work and work is getting a bit crazy at the moment. So I'm trying to manage everything, but I will be back to uh, being a bit more consistent on YouTube. Thank you for bearing with me. Also, I want to tag a few people as well. I wanted to tag um, From Abby with Love because I really like her channel and I think she's a great person as well. I love her channel and the way that she does her fragrance videos. Um, and also, anyone else who wants to do the tag, just, just get on it, you know. Um, I'm not really sure off the top of my head who else to tag. I think a lot of people have now done this tag that I can think of. So anyone else who feels like doing it, jump on board. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching um, this video. Thank you for supporting my channel. Do feel free to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys.